and, and maybe that's the position that he's taking. Again, I don't know. I can't jump into his skin. And I'm very much one of those people who I don't think it's cool when people jump out to support something when they don't know all the evidence right. or jump out to, um, you know, cancel somebody when they don't know all the evidence. I'm standing, I'm sitting here, should I say, in front of y'all saying, I don't know everything he said. I don't. I do know that there was a, um, you know, a lot of people in the Jewish community were very offended. So I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to get all my information and then I'm going to jump out. But the biggest thing I do know, because of what he's been able to create and, and as, as long as he's been able to make Wild and Out such a success, that is because of him. And he should have those rights. Powerful, powerful. Let's, let's go on a little bit of a lighter note. I'm going to get your opinion if you would like to speak on that. Jada, okay. Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Ah. <laughs> what's your thoughts on that? You know, uh, being a grown, grown, sexy woman. What's, what's, how do you feel about that? The whole entanglement thing? And Ooh, um, Okay. Woo, now that's rough for me. Okay. So, you know, everyone knows that I was on all of us set, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But here's the, here's what I can say without feeling like something's going to pop me over the side of the head and come out the blue. Um, if someone is unhappy, they, 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 they spread that unhappiness to others. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, un I wasn't happy on that set because people treated me in a way that, that I could tell that they were unhappy. You know, if you're unhappy in something, and the bottom line is their marriage, they've decided what their marriage is going to be. They have decided that a long time ago. I'm not involved in them, in their marriage. Um, they know what's going on in their marriage. Mm -hmm. If they decide that they're going to come together and that's the type of marriage that they want and they're OK with that, we are not able to judge that. What I am going to judge is if I come to work for people and they bring that unhappiness on others like myself. Mm -hmm. And I felt that and received that on that set. And that's sad to me because I am a very hardworking girl. I just come from doing a successful show for two, um, four years, should I say, with the Hughleys. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done tons of movies, Rosewood, what I just spoke on, um, a whole lot of stuff before I did that set. I'm coming to that set to work and excited because I'm like, hey, I'm about to do something. Well, these people are cool. These people are great. These people are, you know, so much fun. It's going to be a great, fun environment. I've never worked in an environment with these two great individuals. And I know Will and I love Will. I love Will as an individual. I don't know a lot about him personally. I just know I've worked with him and I enjoy work with him. So I was looking forward to having a very fun work experience. And I'm still sad that it was so not like that. It wasn't that. Yeah, we, we hear that oftentimes in Hollywood that it's not what we see. Oh, it's not all that what we see. Well, let's be clear. I'm talking about that individual set. I have a lot of fun on mm -hmm. other sets. <laughs> okay. Right. I've had a lot of fun on a lot of jobs that I've done. Um, you know, and, and a lot of people know, you know, I exited that set early. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to be happy to say, yeah, I missed the money. But I didn't miss not coming to work happy. I was not happy because they were not happy and I wasn't being treated fairly because they were not happy. Can you can you from a woman's perspective, because we at times talk about relationships on a podcast here and okay. agony and, and, and that whether or not men and women and the conversation of weddings and, and marriage and everything, we, we dive into that from a woman's perspective. Is mm -hmm. it realistic for a man and a woman? to remain monogamous throughout their entire relationship, in your opinion? I think it's possible. I know people who do it. Right. Okay. But see, you got to also remember, see, y'all, I'm a Southern girl. So I know a lot of people who are Southerners that that's not even, that's not even, a, that's not even a discussion. That's not even a way that they would treat the, the two kings and queens in their relationship. Mm -hmm. If, if they, if they decide to get married, it's, people I know, especially in the South, they're going to try their best to keep it together. You know, at the end of the day, you have options. How about not get married? Right. OK. How about try some other people or something that's going to make you happy? You don't have to be married, you know, um, but if you come together to get married, in my opinion, you got to treat it with respect and, and, and kindness. Again, 
like I said, marriage is one thing. And if you're if you're in a marriage, that's their choice to do whatever the hell they want to do in that marriage. That's not even for us to judge. Yeah. But if you bring other entities in, if you have a, a young man into your relationship and then now he's not happy, or if you have other people that are in the relationship and then they're not happy, but also you come outside and you try to do work and you're working with other individuals and you're not happy. I just need y'all to find that happy. Leave me alone because I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to continue to work. I mean, I and should I say I do continue to work, but I want to come to work and have fun as well. And I don't want you to bring that on me because it's not my fault that you're not happy. I want to go back a little bit to the um, the Rosewood because, you know, one of our favorite movies, it was a polarizing movie. When we seen it, we were probably young, maybe nine, yeah. 10 years old when that movie yeah. came out. Um, so, yeah, just a shout out to uh, HBO. HBO Max is showing it right now. That's why I actually put the trailer on my on my uh, Instagram so that people could go and check it out. It's um it's on HBO Max right now if anybody wants to check it out. Yeah, drop in 97. 97? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. A long How- time ago. How was that whole um, experience and how more educated were you after that, you know, going through that whole experience learning? Yeah, well, what was great is that was the great thing about working with John. You know, he was so he was he loved filmmaking so much. So we basically had people who actually went through that experience. The 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 kids that are now grown adults that went through that experience and knew what happened by talking to their elders. And we had them on the set, which was very, very helpful to kind of really explain to us what was going on in that time. And I mean, it was hard, you know, it was, it was the subject matter itself was difficult. We had a whole community in a town that was built so that we could re literally have the town of Rosewood um, built from scratch. And it was a lot of night shoots. It was a lot of being in a dark place, you know, being in your room and waking up at 4 p.m. because you know you're going to shoot till, you know, the sun came up that day. Mm. Um, but as an experience, as an actor, it was a great experience. But learning those stories and and seeing the people who really had you know, descendants of that be on set with us. That was that was rough, but you know, you want to give the full experience and do and do what you can as an actor. You know, watching Rosewood as a child back then, that was one of my first times being introduced to also Black Wall Street and what happened mm. in Oklahoma when I yeah. was back and asked my mom, "Well, why would this happen?" Because this was just something that we weren't used to. You know what I'm saying? So we're watching it, and it's very shocking to us as children. So we ask questions and we start getting answers. Prior to that movie, when was your first time ever hearing the story of Black Wall Street? Honestly, I never knew a lot of that stuff till I got older. Um, You know, again, I got parents that are, you know, both of my parents have passed away. So, um, you know, my mom and dad, you know, we raised me in Memphis, Tennessee. Shout out to Memphis. Um, And those conversations, especially, you know, I, I grew up in the 60s. Uh, you know, those conversations really weren't ha- weren't being had in a lot of Southern households in the 60s. Um, a lot of the things I've learned about about our culture have been after going away and getting my scholarship and and being in Philly and and really learning a lot that, you know, I just wasn't uh, told or exposed to when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Just take us back to that, the journey of you getting into act- acting, becoming an actress leaving Memphis, Tennessee. What was that journey like for you as a black woman going into Hollywood and acting? Well, what's funny is I didn't even want to act at first. That was not what I wanted. I didn't get a scholarship for being an actor. I wanted to be the next Debbie Allen. That's what I wanted to be. (laughs) So I started at six years old. I was taking jazz, tap, ballet, things like that. Um, Then I went to Overton High School in Memphis, Tennessee. Shout out again to Overton High School. Um, Then got a full scholarship to... University of the Arts in Philadelphia Um, and my journey as a performer, which is what I really wanted to be growing up, uh, began. I've done a lot of music videos uh, from Vanessa Williams to, oh, gosh, gosh, um, Father MC to After Seven. You can go, you can look at, pull up any YouTube from back in the day. I was doing it. I was choreographing a lot. I choreographed Only You, Only You. I choreographed that video and did that. So my journey, I was happy. I was just, you know, singing and dancing and doing what I wanted. Um, Started to do a lot of commercial work. 
And somewhere around there, somebody was like, you know what? You got a great personality. You should try um, acting. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. 